So I was in uh, Nicaragua at a conference, of, uh, a community radio conference in Nicaragua, and I scratched the inside of my throat with a poorly peeled piece of pineapple, and it got infected, and my throat got an abscess in it that, that was swelling and swelling and swelling, and really pretty much closed my throat. I could barely breathe. And my uh, some people from Nicaragua took me to the doctor there, took me to a, you know, their urgent care clinic, and the doctor prescribed uh, penicillin. Well, before I had gone to Nicaragua, a couple of my doctor friends had said, there's hepatitis in Nicaragua, don't get an injection there because you might pick up you know, something you don't want. Well, at the time I went to the urgent care clinic, it wasn't that bad. And I thought, you know, in a couple of days, I'm going to be back in the United States and I can just go to the clinic there. So I declined the penicillin. Then it turned out that my flight back to the United States with a bunch of other people from this conference had been overbooked, heavily overbooked, overbooked in, in, their, in the disorganization of this particular airline Aeronica, they said, oh, we'll put you on a flight tomorrow. And then tomorrow they didn't put me on a flight. And they said, we'll put you on a flight tomorrow. And tomorrow they didn't put me on a flight. So my return to the United States was getting delayed while my throat was getting more closed and more closed. I couldn't eat anything because I couldn't swallow. I could barely get liquids down. And um, finally, I got on a flight. And one of the other uh, radio station people that was there. He was from the Bronx. Uh, his wife had come with him and his wife was a doctor and she ended up sitting next to me on the plane. And afterwards, a couple of days later, so what, what happened was when the plane took off, the air pressure changed, the abscess in my throat burst. I had huge amounts, copious amounts of infected fluids coming out. I had to go to the bathroom as soon as I could, like rinse my mouth and spit and, and get them all out. But I was able to breathe again. And um, it turned out that the group I was traveling with had arranged for the doctor person to sit next to me. And she had clean, sharpened and sterilized her pocket knife before we took off so that she could give me a tracheotomy if she needed to, because they thought that change in air pressure instead of bursting the abscess, might totally close the throat. So I, I really appreciated that she was willing to be prepared to do an emergency tracheotomy on me. I'm glad she didn't have to, but I appreciate, in this case, the potential help.